Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at a Seacamp LWS 32 chambered in 32 ACP. Check that out. This is the smallest semi-auto handgun in production today. This is it right here. It weighs 13 ounces loaded with seven rounds. It does have a six round magazine that does have the heel release so you have to hit that thing and pull it out. But a small little magazine, small little handgun, but I love this thing. An incredible backup handgun in 32 ACP. Check out that width. 0.72 inches wide and 13 ounces loaded. It is a hammer fired gun. It does have a magazine disconnect. So without the magazine in there, the, the trigger locks up, the slide locks up. But with the magazine in there, you're looking at an 11 and a half pound trigger pull. It's heavy and it has no sights. All right, it's a get off me gun. It's a, it's a belly gun, but it's a very small gun. And, and I got attracted to this uh, many years ago. Uh, my, I was at my friend's house. He had a buddy that came over. He had this thing and I was like, that thing could be one of the coolest little semi-autos that I have ever seen. And he was very fond of it. I eventually got my hands on one and I really do dig it for backup carry. Now it does have polymer grips, all right, a little bit of texturing on there, a stainless steel slide and frame. And I already mentioned it's a hammer fired gun that breaks at 11 and a half pounds. Now that sounds like a lot, but for pocket carry, you know, it's really not that bad. I'm only about eight yards away and I shot one-handed and was able to hit all those targets without any issue. Now, C-Camp lists certain ammos that work best with this gun. This is 60 grain PMC bronze hollow point, all right? Just standard jacketed hollow point loads. They are not too expensive. 32 is, is pretty pricey, you know, it, it's not a, a real popular round, therefore the price is a bit elevated. But if you think about it, this is not a, a range gun. This is not the kind of gun you're going to go, you know, fire 100 rounds at the range, you know, just to have a blast. It's more of a, you know, you do a function test, you carry it with confidence. It's very well built, extremely well built. And since I've owned it, I'm yet to have a failure. I primarily ran these PMC loads through it, um, mostly because that's what I could get my hands on. Some of those 32 loads are very hard to get a hold of, but it is extremely small and extremely lightweight. Now the MSRP on this is 510, but I've seen them right around 450 and even a little bit less. And those who have them will verify that it's worth every penny. And that's because it's so easy for deep concealment. And you could stick this thing anywhere. And so if you, if you shoot it well, even without sights, then, you know, even eight yards away is a long shot, but here I am one-handed, feeling very confident with that. All right, and that was it. So, you know, the, the C-Camp LWS 32, let me go ahead and load it up. We'll back it up some more. I'll shoot two-handed and give a better look at this model. Back with the LWS 32, C-Camp also makes this in 380 ACP and 25 ACP, and of course 32. It's a delayed blowback system, two inch barrel. I backed up to 12 yards. Let's see how I do. No sights, completely snag free. Let's see. Yeah, I had five rounds loaded up. So I think I hit all five, and the camera might not be able to pick that up, but I hit about two inches low of center. So it's the smallest in production. I know some of those 
older 25s the bower comes to mind people say those are so small those are so light well so is this but this one is still in production and those who have these love them and i, I i'm just very fond of it i think it's cool you can you can throw it in the pocket you can throw it in an ankle you can throw it anywhere it's just so small and lightweight and it's an all steel frame that makes me enjoy the Seacamp LWS 32 even more. I want the 380 model. <laughs> One day I will have the Seacamp LWS 380 because I think these are very cool and very concealable little handguns. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.